Hey there, it's Ken coming to you live from DYC Studios, and today I have a secret for all of you. Now before we dive into that secret, let me tell you, I am working on my living room, so you'll have to ignore it. Uh, it's a little bit catastrophic, a little bit, and so forth. We have a new couch coming, hopefully this month, uh, fingers crossed, but it's getting there, needless to say. But now let me get to that secret. And yes, there is a pun there. I have been researching gaming chairs online and trying to find out the best ones out there. Well, I decided what one to get. And now this is important because I sit in front of the computer several hours a day. I do graphics, I am a gamer, I do marketing and PR campaigns, I do a lot with Adobe and so forth. Uh, and I also teach an online marketing class from 9.30 in the morning to 5 p.m. in the evening. And sometimes a little bit later, you know, if I have to get other things done. But because of that, I really need to have back support. And the chair that I currently have doesn't really give me that. I get a little bit of cramps and a little bit of pains. So I decided to order, well, did my research first, like I said, but I decided to order the Secret Labs Titan chair. And today, for all of you, I am going to unbox this massive, humongous box open. Let me tell you, this is the biggest box that's arrived at my store, at my doorstep. It is just big. So we're going to dive into that. I hope you guys enjoy this video. I'm really excited about opening this chair up. Let's see what's inside the box. Let me tell you, this box is heavy. All right, I have my trusty scissors ready and I'm ready to open this bad boy up. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Nice, seems like it's pretty well protected in there. Slice this open. It's like doing surgery. I don't want to mess up anything that's inside. All right. This is exciting. Boom. All right, let's check this out. All right, let's see what it says. All right, it says, do not touch backrest recline lever while removing from box and until backrest is securely installed. Okay, let's keep that in mind. Congratulations, you are now the owner of a brand new Secret Lab chair. You are just steps away from the, your ultimate seating experience. Flip this sheet over and you will find a quick start guide to assembling your Secret Lab chair. We highly recommend checking out our assembly video as well for even more detailed visual instructions. Before you get started, a few points. Having a friend helps make assembly extra easy. Mind the important safety information. Contact us if you have any issues. Bam, let's get started on this. Okay, I've turned it over, and as you can see, there is assembly instructions as well as usage information, as, as well as a little bit of safety information, so that's pretty cool. It looks fairly simple. I think we're gonna put this over to the side, and I think I'm gonna watch the video online to see how to put it together so I do it properly. All right, there's one more thing right here. Ah, let's get this. Welcome to comfort. All right, now I've already ripped this open to see what's inside. I already had an idea what's inside. Let's throw that down there. So, you have your free two-year warranty extension. Redeem your complimentary two-year warranty extension to get an additional two years of warranty in just three simple steps so you can sit worry-free for a total of five years. Take a photo of your new secret lab chair. Share a public post on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter with hashtag secret lab. Don't worry, I'm gonna make a YouTube video as well and write an article on Medium that really goes over why I chose to buy this chair. And I'll post definitely on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But a clever idea to get, you know, more exposure for the company. I think that's pretty smart from a marketing standpoint. Head over to secretlab.com co to redeem your register so we can see at secret lab at secret lab at secret lab chairs all right then we have the aftercare guide 
So follow the usage instructions. No worries, I'll follow them. Don't sweat on it. What if I get nervous? No, I'm joking, I'm not gonna sweat. Avoid sitting bare skinned. I love this, a little rear end. Needless to say, I'm not gonna sit there bare butt on this chair. <laughs> like I would do that anyways. Keep away from liquids. Not a problem. Don't abuse it. You bad chair, you're a bad chair. Bad, bad, bad. You shouldn't have done that chair. Sorry, you're a nice chair. You're so nice, you're sweet. Don't worry chair. I'm not gonna abuse my chair and so forth. Avoid using a hairdryer near it. Now, I guess this is good if you're a person that does like makeup and so forth online and is like one of those types of influencers and so forth. So needless to say, don't use a hairdryer around it. Not gonna worry about this. Keep pets away. Guess what, Ruru, my little whippet? You're not going near this chair. Don't worry, he's not gonna go near the chair anyways and so forth. But it's nice to have all these little, this little bit of information on it and so forth. And then you got usage safety instructions, which we saw on the big sheet as well too. So they're just making sure you understand about it. Looks, oh, guess what? No racing the chairs down the hallway uh, and so forth. Don't put two people on it. Don't stand on it. Don't sit all the way on the edge and so forth. Uh, don't pull somebody down. Don't lean all the way. Don't place all your weight on the back seat only. So you need to sit properly, needless to say. And then do not place your hard or fingers near the recline mechanism. You don't want your fingers to get cut off. And then on the back, you got the upholstery care and so forth. I think I'm gonna order this right here. Uh, I have learned that their new 2.0 PU leather doesn't chip as much or tear or wear. Uh, and also I've heard that most of that damage usually happens in areas where there's like high humidity in like Singapore and so forth. So we should be okay, but we're gonna take care of it. We're gonna be nice to it. We're gonna love this chair to death and so forth. So, and again, if you need any help, you can contact them via here. So thank you for all this information, Secret Lab. Let's check out the video and see how to put it together. We're not gonna watch the video together. That would just be silly. But I want to take everything out of the box really quickly and show you all the pieces because I think that's more interesting. This was the heaviest piece in the box. Ooh. That was a lot. All the pieces are out of the box. It's not so many, so it's not complicated. Right here we have the back. Everything is wrapped perfectly and well protected. One thing to keep in mind is keep your hands away from the lever. You don't want to lose any fingers. The head pillow is made of memory foam and it's surrounded by a plush velvet. It's so nice. In this box, you'll find all the little accessories that you use to put together the chair, including a nice tool set. Secret Lab really thought of everything. I thought I'd show you some close-ups of the chair so you can see how well it's designed. Both comfort and functionality play an important role in the Secret Lab Titan. The 4D armrests are really adjustable. You can move them sideways, up, down, forward, backward, diagonal, and they have the top of it has a really nice soft feel to it. So the comfort levels are just amazing. The 2020 Prime 2.0 PU leather is really soft, cozy, and it's made to really hold up against harsh climates such as with that deal with like humidity and so forth like that. So that's really good. But that's not to say that it might not peel. So if you get water on it, if you get oily skin on it, if you have abrasive material or clothing on it, then it could peel. So be careful with it. And also it's recommended that you clean it regularly. I've tried out various gaming chairs at Gamescom and other expos. And I have to say the Secret Lab Titan really holds up. It really feels good and it's amazing. All right, so I am sitting in the Secret Lab Titan chair and let me tell you, I love it. I can already feel that lumbar support. Again, that's something that I've needed for a long time. 
I have this really cool hip retro chair, but my back has been killing me. So having that support that I need, that's gonna really help me out in the long run. Uh, and to me, it doesn't matter what kind of business you, if you're in, if you're doing computer programming, if you're doing accounting, if you're teaching, uh, if you're doing graphic design, or if you're gaming or whatever, having a chair that really supports your back if you're sitting in it for several hours is fundamentally important, let me tell you. Uh, and I dig it. It's got a dial back here that I can, I can figure it out right here uh, that I can adjust it. Uh, right now it's set to the default setting, so I'm gonna leave it on that for right now. And then I'll play with it a little bit later once I get it into the studio. Um, with the armrests, I can move it up, I can move it down, I can tilt them. I know I can move them forward and so forth, but I have them right now at a set that I like. I can adjust the height uh, down here. So if you're a really tall person, I'm 5'10", if I have it all the way up, my feet are about maybe two inches off the ground at the moment, so that's kind of cool. But I think I will have it somewhere like this. So this way my feet are flat on the ground. Uh, I have the tendency to like kind of bend my feet and ruin my <laughs> shoes when I sit in chairs. So I think this is gonna save my shoes uh, as well, so that's kind of cool. Um, but it was important, like uh, like I said, you know, if you're gonna get a chair and you really need the back support, then spending that money to get it is totally worth it. So this makes me completely happy. The quality of the chair is really nice. Like I said, the armrests are really soft. You can tell that uh, Secret Lab really cares about their product, the way they package it, the way it came. You know, they wanted to make sure you got it in one piece, that there wasn't any problems with it and so forth. So you can tell that they really care about their customers and their product, and that to me is important. Um, I know that in some countries, uh, like in Singapore, for example, they said that it gets a lot of like chapping or peeling, but they came up with like a new leather, which is really good. So hopefully that'll uh, make a difference. Now in those areas, usually those were high humidity areas, uh, which you don't really get a lot of humidity uh, in Germany, maybe like one or two weeks here in Dusseldorf. Uh, during the summer, but most of the year it's pretty mild and pretty okay, so that's fine. So I can say, you know, if I'm sitting in this chair, I'm not gonna worry about it. And if it's during those hot months, then who knows, maybe I'll put a blanket down and stuff that way. Because I think, you know, it's, what I've seen in my guess is it's from people wearing shorts sitting in the chairs that are sweating. So like, you know, part of their legs are sweating on the old chairs. And again, this is what their old skin, they have the new skin now, so hopefully that'll be a big difference. And I could have got the Omega chair, which was a little bit of a different fit, uh, but I felt the Titan was the best way to go. Uh, the pillow is really, really cozy. Uh, again, I might go ahead and get the pillow uh, for the lumbar support too, uh, which is great. And I could easily just kind of like chill. Uh, I could like put this back one more notch. Oops, gotta get used to that. And then I could just chill like this and I could easily, I could fall asleep. It's that comfortable. It feels really, really good. And to me, again, that's all important, you know. And also, they also have special edition ones, like they have a Batman, they have the Joker. Uh, they have some cool ones from Riot Games, from League of Legends. Victory! And I think they even have uh, some from Valorant now. Uh, they have Overwatch. Cheers, love! The cavalry's here! Which Overwatch is really cool, and I was so tempted to get the Overwatch chair. I was you really tempted, but you know, Overwatch 2 is coming out and hopefully that'll be a good game, but I didn't want to invest in it and go too crazy on it and so forth like that. So I thought this would be really fine. The Titan's cool. Uh, they also had the Cyberpunk 2077 chair. We have a city to burn. Uh, which was really nice looking, really cool. Who knows if I would have got that, maybe it would have had glitches. Uh, just joking. Uh, sorry, Cyberpunk. Sorry, CD Projekt Red. I do have the PS4 version uh, of Cyberpunk uh, that I'm going to play. So, and I will stream that as well, maybe on uh, a Twitch. I don't know yet. But the chair would have been nice. I know the Cyberpunk chair sold out uh, the first time really quickly. And then when they had the second batch come in, I think it sold out within 10 minutes or so. And I've even seen the Cyberpunk chair on eBay here in Germany for like a thousand euros. So somebody was like trying to get their money out of it uh, and resell it. So to me, hey, you know, 
But this is great. You know, it's got that nice orange. It's similar to the yellow, uh, a little bit more orangey that I have uh, for my DYC logo. So that's fine. I think it kind of complements everything. Uh, I like kind of that orangey kind of yellow anyway, so that's kind of cool. Again, you know, but the most important thing was it being comfortable. Let's face it, that's what it boils down to, is finding a chair that was comfortable, that the praises sang out for its comfortability online, and I felt that it, the Titan Secret Lab chair actually really holds up to that standard. Like I said, it's really cozy, again, and I'm gonna be happy. Again, I'm sitting in like a chair for hours from like 9 a.m. to 5, 8, 5 p.m. Uh, just for teaching, you know, Monday through Thursday. And then I do graphics and then I do live streams for Behance, uh, which you guys should definitely check out. There will be a link to that now in the bottom of my video so you can see me stream graphics and give you tutorials on creating graphics online live on Behance, which is cool. I'm getting a lot of views on that. Uh, so that makes me happy as well too. So again, you know, this is gonna come in handy. It's gonna be great having it in the studio. I'm working on the studio, adding a lot of cool new things. Probably even gonna get a light pretty soon. So uh, if I do, there'll be a review for that. I already got a, a, a arm for my uh, microphone. I'll be releasing a review on that as well. And I'm gonna do a solid review of this chair on medium as well. And then again, like I said, uh, 12 months from now, I'll come back and I'll do a review on YouTube, how this is held up over 12 months. Does it meet my standards? You know, if you're dropping this amount of money in a chair, you know, you hope that it will hold up for 12 months, 24 months and so forth. But I feel if you really take care of it, you really put the love into it, you use the products that they say to use uh, and you don't abuse the chair, bad chair, bad chair. No. Uh, if you don't abuse the chair, you know, and you treat it really nice, then it'll last a long time. So we'll see how that works out. Um, but yeah, I love it. I'm excited. Again, super comfy. Uh, my back feels amazing in it. And that was the main thing. So I guess, you know, I'm gonna pull this into the uh, studio and start using it uh, starting tonight. Who knows? Uh, but with that being said, something that I like to say at the end of every video is happy creating. <laughs>